Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat. Welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. It's good to be back with y'all today. I hope everyone's having a good day. And shout out to, to Mel's hypeness. Three, thank you so much for the three-month three-sub, Mel. And congrats on the crown of first and dumb. A day to be celebrated this day of the midweek Minecraft day. So, but glad to have y'all here. Good to see you, Britt. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, before we dive into Minecraft, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to a couple new followers. First, Emerald Dragon 71 and Juliana the Grey. Thank you for the follows. Welcome to the channel. It means we are two away, two, two away from the uh, 300, uh, which is wild and crazy to think about. So thank you to everyone who's followed and, and, uh, and helped. Juliana is your friend. Oh, wonderful. We like Mel's friends. Um... But yeah, when we do that, we're going to do a bonus stream of getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Don't know when that will happen, though, because we got the raid train this weekend. I don't want to step on the toes of the raid train. Cause, you know, that's a whole community thing. And I'm part of it, you know, so it's respecting boundaries. And the weekend after that, I'm out of town for uh, uh, GoffCon. So we'll find time. It'll happen, I promise. Maybe on like a Tuesday night or something. Who knows? But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's dive uh, into some Minecraft. So last time, we were working on a, uh, a graveyard. Off camera, I did a little bit of work. I've been getting, I've been, you may notice there's a lot less, a lot fewer trees out here. They're now charcoal to make smooth sandstone because we're gonna need a lot of smooth sandstone to make a lot of steps on the inside. But I did do all of the lower portion here along the nave. So that's a chunk done. Oh, steps here, we're starting off straw. Good to see you. Thank you for the 300 bits. It's lowered intensely slightly for the time being. Uh, making landfall is a three, going through your area is a one. Okay, well, let's hope it stays that way with the lower intensity, but... Uh... Let's see. No, uh, game local. Wheel of Pain. There we go. Wheel of Pain. Spin, darn it. And she look us. No, that's an old one. We can do better. Cardamom pastille. So the other day I had the clove pastille. Let's see how the cardamom one is. I like cardamom, but I don't know how I'm going to like it as a pastille. Might be good for my sinuses, a little, a little stuffed up today. Woo! So you know how I was describing the clove one is smelling like an Indian restaurant? This is even more so. Did I get a coin today? No, I, I'll never get a coin. But these are the, uh, this tin doesn't need a coin. It's the Japanese ones that need a coin. Whoa! 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 That is... Mm. Oh, that's... A lot? Oh! Oh! Whoa! It's got this really unique aftertaste. Because cardamom's already... Cardamom has a nice natural sweetness, so it's almost like a candy, but then it's like, oh! Aromatic! Uh, 
I did choose to reroll. And I'm not regretting this. It's just... Hmm. It's a lot. No, it's not really declaring my sciences, unfortunately. Anyway, so last time we built a graveyard, and I thought, you know what, we should decorate the graveyard. So I went out and I picked some flowers, and I got some vines. And some grasses. Oh, I also slightly redid... Oh, <laughs> As an aftertaste, man. Oh. Woo. Anyway. Uh, I slightly redid the Lapis Lazuli tomb in here. It was it was a 3 by 2 but it just looked disproportional. So I changed it to a 4 by 2 and it's it fits so much better. But I was thinking, you know, let's put some... Uh, vines on this, like that. Make it look like... Oh, they're growing already. I did... I only placed... There. I was kind of thinking maybe up along... This back wall. Oh, man. I'm about to be dearly departed with this... Look this carbon bump of steel. It's not me getting here definitely not first and still feeling offended that I didn't get first. Oh. Actually, let's use these lilies of the valley. Put those there and there. Ah, the good news about Pastille is it's small. It's not, it's just, oh, it's so close to like being a nice cardamom taste. And then it's just a lot. I should have the pain and suffering tag. Um, I think I just want flowers kind of randomly placed for the most part. We'll place the ferns and the grass last. Although that one can go there. Sit at that grave, why not? Maybe have some poppies here on the other side of that. The theme this month is Memento Mori. Why is it important to remember that we will die? Because it is important to remember what will happen after you die. So there's both the element of memento mori in the sense of, huh, my limited life matters and I have only so much I can do and that I need to pick what I need to do and what kind of legacy and uh, world I want to leave behind. But also, uh, my life leads into another. And what do I need to do to, to remember that and live in accordance with that? That person has family around still. Probably the wandering trader. And there he is! Yes! Yeah, the wandering trader is coming to visit his cousin, who is a monk here. There. Now it's not all just like flat texture. I hope when I die, I, I meet a man who who talks like this. 
I predict that one of the things that will happen after I die is that people will put me in a box, dig a hole in the ground, and stick me in there. I don't know, you might be burned. Probably not. They don't tend to do that in the Orthodox tradition, do they? What's kitten? For what hope can the harvest have if not the care of the Reaper Man? I feel like you're beginning to quote something. Oh, I also went around and I added the rest of the little buttons to those. But yeah, I like how that, that breaks it up and makes it look... The small caps didn't give it away. I mean, you could have just been goofing. But I like the vines here because they create kind of a, a sense of age. On the mausoleum in particular. New font goofing. New font who dis? The answer is, of course, death. Okay, but like, which death? There are several representations of personifications of uh, the end of life. One of my favorite comes from uh, the Assyrian poet Saint Ephraim, wherein death of this scroll. Oh, I should have known. Uh, wherein uh, death and Satan get in an argument over whose fault it is that Jesus got to rise from the dead. Ooh, this sunset will be perfect. I've discovered, I think my favorite view of the church is actually right in this area. Where you can get four of the tower, well, the main tower and four of the smaller towers, the the dome, obviously, a bit of the graveyard, the rose window. I have only ever read one Discworld novel. I sense a YouTube thumbnail. Yeah, if I bothered to do YouTube thumbnails. My YouTube thumbnails are just generic cards representing uh, what the episode is, but... Okay, well, I guess it's back to work on the Basilica then, because I, I really like the graveyard, and I don't know what else to do for it. It's kind of perfect. Oh, we need to get a little more dirt for it on the far side. That's something we need to do. So let's put up some stairs and then we'll go get some dirt. Make catacombs. I, re I have a catacomb. It's underneath the altar. Oh. Make an ossuary. It's a little harder, but we kind of did in the... In the mausoleum, the, the tombs are actually made out of bone block. Okay. I see how it is. It's going to be one of those days.
Okay, so yeah, like one, two, and then it stretches out. Yep. Okay, so the next layer is up there. <laughs> that aftertaste, though. It's like a mint, but not. So we're going to be doing more Minecraft on Friday. Um, and so for that and next week, we're going to start the uh, two-year anniversary build. Which is wild to say. And then maybe after this build and the uh, anniversary build, we'll actually do some like adventuring, work on getting more uh, st uh, the stuff together we need to get to the nether, or not to the nether, to the end, so we can go get some Elytra. Because I was looking at the spawn map. And there's a, uh, there's a portal to the end not too far. It's off in that direction, about 900 blocks uh, east and north. I don't know if Discworld has a beginning. Like, obviously, there's a first novel. I don't know if there's a chronological start. It's one of those things. Going Postal, the only book I've read, is not a bad place to start. Because you don't really... You just need to know some basic common tropes about uh, fantasy. To understand that one. All the novels are in chronological order? Oh, okay. I would have guessed that given the way on, uh, things work in Discworld and on Morpork, that maybe chronology was not a thing they cared about. Because there are those golems. There are those golems that are cyclical. What is the first recommended novel, Step Zero? And if you tell me a movie, I'm going to scream. One of these things is not like the other. OK, 
Do I have a friend I'm staying with? Oh, uh, you're staying with uh, Katie Foo? Or no, you're staying with uh, the D&D friend. Uh, I don't remember their channel name, but... End of work, final trek, lurk! You can do it, Bree. I believe in you. This shift will end eventually. We did update the map as well to add in the uh, the graveyard. Let it be a Star Trek. Fantasy Forge. There we go. Need more scaffolding. Well, that's very generous of them. everything? I think that's everything. Gail has redeemed a father joke. Well, did you know that the Bible has the first example of a tablet connecting to the cloud? It's in Exodus with Moses and the Ten Commandments. I think it's better without the punchline. That's fair. It's a tricky one. But I still think it's funny. That's such a youth pastor joke. No, a youth pastor would be... You know who else was lit? The Column of Fire. This one is more just the pastor showing up to the youth group. And not caring if... Who was lit the bush. Oh, you mean the bush that prefigures Mary? The bush that is burned but does not but is not consumed? Again, or Ephraim. I love Ephraim. Imperium Youth Pastor still has your favorite cursed ideas. It is incredibly cursed and great. you lots wife because you're salty
Are you Elisha the prophet? It looks like you're about to call two she-bears out of the woods. Has anyone else seen Jake W's video on Exodus? His characterization of Moses as increasingly fed up and basically the world's first IT professional surprisingly humanizing. I have not seen that. I think I need to check that out though. I have enough hair that I don't get mistaken for Elisha. Fair. Joke is that Elisha was bald. Now I just have an image of Moses as an IT professional talking to uh, Joshua and be saying, have you tried turning it off and on again? I really like these shelves up here imitating a sense of a of a column when you start the next kingdom hearts game i want you to do a in the story so far oh that'll take a stream unto itself kingdom hearts lower dump okay so this one time this one dude thought it would be really funny if he uh gave all his students a book of prophecies, but one of them is missing a page. And he also says there's a traitor among them. And he then leaves. He's kind of a jerk. Oh, come on. And then he gave everyone really big keys to hit each other with. Then several thousand years later, a new kid comes along and he's like, I like darkness. Only the the important parts in the first three games. There's a lot of important parts in the first three games because most of the story wasn't all recap yet. I've always been confused about how Josh could be the son of none. I thought monastics weren't supposed to have children. Oh. I love... Do I love this game? I love Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft for a really long time. Good to see you, Pistol McSquish. Hope you're doing well. Theoretically, yes, you could, but, but, you know, makes the joke not as funny. It's tricky because, like, if you're joining a religious life and you do have children, which it's not unheard of, they generally have to be 18 and self-sufficient. Because if you're in a religious life, it's like you're not going to be able to financially care for them. So. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you love playing Minecraft in VR? Yeah, when my uh, computer parts come back from the war, I'm definitely going to link. I, I had my headset hooked up, but now I'll reset up my headset and definitely take a tour of everything in VR. Isn't VR standalone, though, um, Bedrock Edition? Oh, it is Java. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I thought it was Bedrock. It's still all... There are ways to hook up my uh, existing headset, so... That way I don't have to buy Minecraft again. They released Bedrock in the Meta Store, but it's no longer available. That sounds like the Meta Store. One day you'll get the PSVR 2 PC adapter. Steam... Well, I don't know. Steam might be able to just, like, natively talk to it. Or there's a, a hack or something. I don't know. It's a hardware adapter, so any at least an official program. Oh, well, that's helpful. But of course, they needed a special dongle for it. If you have Java, you can just sign in. Ooh, okay, I didn't know that. I will have to look into that. Well, I mean, it makes sense that the hardware is not free, but... So we could just end the line like that. Uh, which is what we're going to do after all, actually. And second thought. Where's my stack? There it is. You almost play only in VR. Ooh, very nice. My scaffold skills are stunning. Thank you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of click and hope it works. <laughs> I mean, I'm such a, a, an old fart when it comes... Yeah, I really like how that turned out, by the way. Like, as a detail, look at the left, which is completed, and the right, which is not. The, the little sills add a nice little break up to the monotony. And some nice variation, make it look more like a column. And then the, the beveling, I guess, smooths that out. This is an epic inspiration from the Holy Spirit. No, it absolutely is. And it has been quite the work. It's been a lot of fun, though.
because this is what the outside looks like. We still need to do these upper windows as well. But... Doing a little interior work feels good to actually have that done, because I've had that thought since, like, the wall was first up. You love the view? Nice. So do I. It, it's, it's, it's nice to just come and chill and look at. Oh, I need to... You imagine your god playing in Minecraft. I mean, especially in creative mode. Oh, not where I want to be. Show the stream during the flyover and the friend said it's beautiful and incredible. Well, thank you. It's always creative mode. Okay, I mean, yes. <laughs> You're technically correct, which as we know is the best kind of correct. Dang it. Might just be up one too high. God needs no scaffolding or has no hunger. Yeah. And infinite blocks doesn't have to run to the mines. Oh yeah, that creation didn't stop. God is a loving creator and a dynamic one at that. God is an artist. He is the scaffolding and the nourishment. Is what it says in my heart. Oh, see, he's, he doesn't need it, but he is it. I'm always struck by the words of the Byzantine uh, antiphon that gets used on Good Friday. He who hung the world upon the waters is hung upon a cross. I think it's a, a beautiful reflection of the dynamic relationship between God and through Christ with creation. So weird? I don't know, I think it's beautiful. I like that you shared them. Rotada, rotada, rotada. Let me tell you all about a cool dude named Saint Dennis. That's right, Dennis. Dionysius in the Latin. But uh, known today as St. Dennis, patron of France. He's a cephalophore. Not a cephalopod, a cephalophore. Uh, he got his head... Oh, can't build there. He got his head cut off. Uh, he was martyred in the 3rd century. Um, and according to legend, when he died, that did not stop him. He proceeded to pick up his head and walk several miles to a hill where he was to be buried. Ow. and held his head and preached the entire way. I like St. Dennis. I think he's pretty cool. 
But it does create an interesting uh, problem from the perspective of art. Where does the halo go? Oh, that's an extra big rota to sign. Self-burying monk? Well, he didn't bury himself. He was a bishop. But, um... But yeah, where, where does his halo go, chat? Ooh, I know that one. The halo is still over the neck, I think. Sometimes. Sometimes it's also over the head. Sometimes it's also over both. Halo placement has varied across centuries. Yep. Most commonly, though. So it doesn't burn his hands. Oh, that's fair. Convenient <laughs> carrying handle for his head. He has miter. He just held on to that. Halo 2. <laughs> yes, this is the story of Halo 2, John Halo. Yeah, it's really interesting, because, like, he's obviously not the only saint to be beheaded. I mean, John the Baptist is another example. But Dennis is almost exclusively shown in art in his uh, uh, beheaded state. So you'll sometimes just see a statue of a bishop just chilling, holding his head. Halo 2 covenants are important. <laughs> Wrong covenant! <laughs> Who are his companions? Um, guys with Roman names that were even harder to pronounce than um, Dionysius. Uh, a couple of uh, his priests, I believe. It's a new... It's a better covenant. It's a new covenant. They promise they won't invade Earth this time with giant tentacle monsters. Were they killed the same way? Most likely, but all the hagiography uh, focuses on Dennis. Dennis is a pretty baller name. I'm gonna disagree. I think it's a fine name, but don't... I, I, baller is not a word I would use. Ow. Dennis comes from Dionysius the Greek. Which, other things, wine, revels, mystery cults, explains everything you need to know about Denny's. It really does. Don't go hating on my favorite spot to get in a fight at 3 a.m. in a in a parking lot. Yes, I prefer Dionysius the Menace. <laughs> Thinking of naming his son Dennis, but Tobias is still at the top of the list. There you go. What do I know about the other memorial, John Leonardi? Nothing. I believe he was a Dominican. Maybe that's what I know. I don't know. I see Dennis come up on the calendar and I got really excited because I think Dennis is a really cool saint. 
I had to come chat to make sure my husband wasn't the one celebrating the name Dennis. <laughs> no, no, no. Chadley... Chadlius is still at the top of the, the list. Thadwick is still second. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Dennis is also considered patron of France. What's interesting is you think patron saint of France, sometimes my, the mind will go to King Louis, which is true, but Louis represents more the French uh, royal household, whereas Dennis is really more representative of France and her peoples. Chadlius. I'd rather Dennis than Lewis. Fair enough. Ah, oh, Richelieu. What a fascinating, really... Richelieu is a really fascinating and weird historical figure, and I don't fully know what to make of him. But there is an amazing... Well, there it was a Cardinal Richelieu. From the books and movies and what I use, it's slightly different from the historical figure, but rooted in it, obviously. But there's this amazing painting of him standing in armor uh, on a battlement at, like, a sea base. And so he's, like, in all this armor, he still has, like, some of his, uh, his cardinal red underneath him uh, kind of tucked into it. And it looks really cool. <laughs> Found a religious order I've never worked to, heard of. Okay, well, it's not... It's not the Chameleons. That's St. Camillus de Lillis. I mean, a lot of religious orders throughout history have worked with the sick, so that doesn't narrow it down, unfortunately. That's like saying, oh, this, this group also uh, taught at schools. Okay. Cleric's regular with the Mother of God. Yep. I got nothing. Where are the clerics irregular? Oh, there's one on camera right now. Siege of La Rochelle. Yes! Yes, that's the painting. Hold on. I I, I need to pull up myself. Just tell shut. Yeah! I don't know why, but that painting slaps!
I think it looks really cool and neat. First of all, I think it's painted in a very dynamic style and very well framed, but just the design, though heavily anachronistic, he looks like a 40k character. Maybe that's why I like it. But I think there's something about the juxtaposition of the armor and uh, the clerical garb, his stoic figure. And it's also very well painted, like just on an like, objective level. Why do the things in water look like weird Legos to me? Mm -hmm. Still not far enough back. Ah! I thought I was at the right level. Okay. Let's check that out. Oh, don't go into the Baldacchino. I like how that turned out. I need to clean these chunklets up. I don't know what to do with them, but... some windows. Why don't we do the nave windows up here? Could always put an office or a gift shop near the door. It would be very Catholic to put a gift shop. Chunklets. They're what's for dinner. Better hurry up, kids, or your chunklets are going to get cold.
Can't see the edge of the gray. You're going to go for now. All right. Remember side quests and quest crafts. I will. Thank you so much for those recommendations. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'd like to do some more streaming stuff with VR, but I have a... The very first thing with VR I want to do on stream is I want to get my boss, Father Dave, to do VR. Because he has not played a video game since about Pong. It's getting windy. Ooh. Well, the, wind, the winds will come first. Looking so good. I'm so happy to finally see color up there. Have two Richie's plank experience. <laughs> oh, no, I like him as a boss. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> no, I was thinking probably something fun, but absurd, like uh, job sim. Do the Halloween one where spiders come down while you're on the board. Oh boy. <laughs> He'd love that. Same winds of 18 and gusts of 37. Whew. Maybe you have a station to cross in early access by then. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, no, that's low what it will be compared to him, but still, that's if that's where it's at and it's just getting started. Like that's a pretty windy day, period. You ever notice in the Heroes Magic School bus, the class had more children's name mentioned before they narrowed it down to the eight on the TV show? <laughs> That's Graham. <sighs> yeah, I will admit, I don't un fully understand what qualifies as landfall because I looked at a radar and to me, I'd have say it would have made landfall, but... Um, I'm not a meteorologist.
the eye crosses onto the land is landfall. Oh my! I thought landfall was the arm has, it, or like a certain amount of the arm has made contact with the land. So you are a meteorologist on the internet. No one knows you're a dog. I'm on camera! <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I I believe you, right? You you live in Florida, and as far as I'm aware, you're even a native Floridian. So, I'm gonna trust you to know what you're talking about a lot more than I am. You could be a VTuber. I, I, this is just a very impressive rig. What can I say? Oh, you're not a native Floridian. Oh, okay. But you have lived in Florida long enough that I think you have probably absorbed that knowledge. One wing of the nave. I've lived here for three years. That I feel like that's long enough to absorb the that knowledge. Um, that is one wing of the nave, which is the longest portion. Done. We've done the interior work of the uh, of the beveling. We've done the windows now. The outside is fully built. The tower is fully built. The only thing that's really left and this is something that I don't really it'll be more of an ongoing project for me for when I feel like it is building the sconces because it's just a, a lot of leather but in the meantime it's lit up it works but dang that looks good how long does this person have to live in Florida in the title of Florida man combination of time and actions yeah I think you have to do certain things to fully qualify as a Florida man your first now live. All right, you take care. Stay safe in the storm. Prayers for you. You're the right of Gator. Get a new Skyron. Yeah. I mean, I think chasing a alligator out of your pool is just something you have to do. It's the price of living there. Okay, I kind of want to go into the nether because I need more and actually do some like proper exploring. Because we're going to need a lot of uh, blaze rods. We need to find blaze rods so that we can make the eyes of Ender to open up the portal. And I'm kind of happy with doing that amount of construction for today, and then I'm dropping a lot of frames today. And somehow I just dropped fewer frames? I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, maybe taking the last little, the second half of the episode here to do a little exploring. Depending on how the exploring goes, go back to building. Feel like it's within the Memento Mori theme of the month, though to go to the Minecraft equivalent of hell. Okay, just minus We have eggs. Do we have new chickens? Nope. I can't believe I had like four stacks of eggs. It was more than that. And I got three chickens.
So I'm going to take some stacks of cobblestone and dirt to get around because the dirt's good if you just want something to quickly look up and then look back down. But the cobblestone will be good for bridges. Also, Step Zero, I I looked into it after that one stream when I came here. I was looking for a way to get to your base. And I had just taken, like, a wrong turn. There isn't... where. Oh, yeah. There's, like, a long, dark, spooky hollow. And I was like, it's... No way it's that. It's that. So yeah, this leads back to your base. Ta-da! Of course, you started off in this very enclosed area. So why don't we start going that way? We'll head in a cardinal direction. What'd you post here, Gale? Oh, sorry, if you if you're rickrolling me. Yep, you're You are rickrolling us. I should have known. Could it not do it? Oh. I meant to remember death, not things that are immortal. Gale out here abusing his mod powers, posted links. How long has it been since this has happened to you? I mean, Monday. Robo, uh, Rickrolled everyone. About a week. <laughs> Maybe let's go that way now. Well, actually, we're almost to a new biome up here. Let's explore that. And at some point I need to find some nether skeletons because I need to get their skulls so I can make uh, a beacon. It must be something in the air. Yeah, probably. I guess it depends on where you hang out on the internet, too. Okay, dear guest, please do not notice me. Thank you for ignoring me, guest, senpai.
Hmm. I forgot to bring some some gold. Oh, the scenery's different. Yeah, we've uh, found our way to a different biome here. You have a fear of heights, do you? Not in game. Yeah, they have gold on them, but if I'm if I'm wearing gold, then they tend to leave you alone. You can get some. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting thirty to forty wet, uh, feral hogs, though. VR can give you the woozies. See, VR doesn't for me. I don't know why. Like, real life... Oh, I hate heights. I hate standing at the ledge of, like, a, a skyscraper or something. VR, I'm like... Oh, whatever. Ooh, angry feral boar. This is why you need an AR. I don't think I can have one in the city. Well, this will be nice if we ever want to come and... Can I? Shroomlight. I don't like the first half of that name, but otherwise it's fine. I have not explored a lot of these new biomes since they came. <laughs> Honestly, ignored them. But yeah, get a bunch of uh, that glowy rock. It's good to be able to come back here. There's an Enderman over there by those bones. Let's try going that way. Nice to also dig around for some netherite eventually. It scares you? That's valid. I think the best way to... And maybe someone who knows more can correct me, but... Um, isn't the best way to look for netherite just to take in a bunch of TNT? Oh, shoot! Excuse me! I did not ask for this! jerks. Uh, isn't it just to use like a ton of TNT? Yeah, I said TNT and then exploded. I'm very good at that. There's that guest. Oh, there's a couple of them. That's fun. Yeah, whatever. I should just drop down here anyway. But yeah, use a bunch of TNT to clear out a ton of the red blocks and then... Uh, the netherite won't be exploded. I don't know. I have to do some research. I've never actually gotten netherite. Never bothered. Because I usually wind up with mending gear anyway that's like, hey, you know... This way was a bust.
Don't mind me, my zombie friends. Uh, just totally normal dude walk by. Ooh, quartz. I like quartz. And I'm gonna need. Well, actually, the thing I'm gonna do for the anniversary, I'll do in creative, but. Still, I like quartz. I like quartz blocks, they're pretty. This looks like the nether I know. Red sky, everything's on fire, oh, falling to my death. An endless void. Yay. don't want to die here. That would I don't want to fall into the lava and lose all my gear. That would be sad. Well, I think... Th Ooh. I was worried I was about to jump off into there and it was going to be full of lava. It was not, fortunately, but still. I think this was a bit of a bust, but it's... It gives us a little more space to breathe and explore here in the nether to keep working on finding what we're looking for. And we got a good amount of nether quartz from it. So oh, why are there so many skeletons? Why is there an angry pig man? Everything is awful. 
Leave me alone, you nerds. No. That's it. Fight each other. You're the one that titled the stream More Morai! Yeah, I didn't mean my Morai. just have to not be blown off this pathway by a ghast and we're home free we're home free the straight and narrow path I don't think Jesus is the portal out of the nether, but... It's true, I, I never know. I... Yeah, I just am going off my theological intuition, I guess. Okay, it's day, so we can go back. Okay, we're here safe. Uh, I need a quick bio break, so uh, we're just gonna go to a little commercial break. We'll be right back.
And we are back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, why don't we finish off the nave? We have this set of windows, and then literally everything in the nave is done. So we'll need more... I have another thing in red glass. Okay. I need to make another one right now. Could stand to make a gray, though. Yeah, I want to make a gray before we... get up there. But that's pretty easy. Because that's just... Uh... What are these? Ox oxide daisies? Isn't that what they're called? Yep. Oxide daisies. Where are they all? Be enough just to finish off this one section. glad I'm back in the overworld too, where there's a creeper and a skeleton on my thing. I don't know if I have a bow with me? You know what though? Creative mode. Mobs. Don't know what to do. That is the one flaw of this, is I don't have anything protecting this area from being spawnable. Exploding monsters are not allowed on the house of God! What are you doing? Get down from there, you look silly. Print carpets on everything isn't a good look. Yeah. Like, if you were higher up, like, maybe the top, I, I'll put carpets on it, but then it won't match and it looks weird, but at that height, it's like, you know, whatever. But down here, it's gonna be noticeable.
didn't realize we were so low on yellow. It's okay, we'll we'll deal. I think I have more yellow dye in the box, but if I don't, I can pretty easily. Like I can see it. Well, I'm not going to take it out of the graveyard, but over there I can see some. Build up. What's this I infer about carpets on, on the walls and ceilings of the temple? Uh, so, carpet... So mobs in Minecraft have very specific rules about where they can spawn. Uh, they, it has to be zero light. It has to be X amount of distance from the player. Um, and then it has to be a flat chunk it ha or a flat block. It has to be a total, uh, totally flat. So like a half slab or a carpet where it raises it slightly. Like, I guess I could put half slabs all the way around the top, but mm, I don't think it's actually that big of a problem. Um, that's how you can prevent mobs from spawning, uh, which you can actually then uh, uh, use to your advantage in doing things like uh, gold farms, iron farms, uh, TNT farms, which I might set one of those up at some point. Wherein uh, you basically set up the conditions and only a particular kind of mob will form. So you only get a particular kind of drop. If you want the netherite armor of God, you need TNT. Well, there is that, but also, uh, if I want to fly around with Elytra, I need TNT for all the fireworks. The tricky part about setting up a TNT farm, it's a creeper farm, is you need cats. You need four cats. And as we have already learned from Orange, Minecraft cats are appropriately fickle. Is the whole of the nave completed? That's pretty awesome. I like how it turned out with all, all the colorful windows. So we need to do the same beveling here and here. Uh, as well as the upper windows on all of them and the beveling in the back here. But all of those sections are... Are you ready to go to the end? No, I don't... 
don't have blaze rods, so I c can't make the eyes. That's my biggest problem, honestly. That's why I was exploring in the nether. Just hoping to come across a, uh... Blaze spawner. Yeah, fortress would be nice. Or just some naturally occurring blazes, honestly. Um... Yeah. So I need some yellow flowers. Let's go get those. Some free roam, sulfur fed blazes. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, look. Daisies. Or not daisies, dandelions. Told you we'd be able to get yellow dye easy. Left your headphones on your keyboard and found out Twitch has a 5k character limit. Oh, okay. That's good to know, I think. Did you intentionally leave them on? Like, were you trying to discover this limit? Or was it a, you put them down and they accidentally happened to be on? Also, 5k is a pretty hefty character limit. Uh, it's easily over 500. I've written some pretty long messages. Hashtag B. Good answer, good answer. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know what to do with the rest of the time for today. I, I feel like we've done really good work in the church, and I'm kind of good with where that's at, because placing windows and stairs is not the most exciting thing. Can't really redo the nether right now. I might explore the nether in my own time, if I have time. Why don't we actually... Do I have spare books? Oh yeah, I could use flower pots, I guess, in the graveyard, but oh, meh, too late. Um, yeah, I have some books. I want to make a book stand. Or a lectern. What am I missing? Oh, it's a whole bookshelf. Okay. Let's make a bookshelf and then make a lectern. I want to go find a villager and turn them into a librarian. So we can level them up so we can get more books of mending.
Are there any villagers left in this village? Or have they all fled? There's a villager in here. Her toolsmith, though. Well. Let's see if we can find another. If not, we can at least... Let's see if we can convince him to change jobs. It's a Fletcher's table. Why does your house have so many doors? That is seems like a really bad idea in this game in, with monsters and things. Ah. Aha, you were untrained. What? You have a You already have a lectern in here. Trying to give you a bed. There. Well, it's not my. I don't want that as my respawn point, but whatever. There we go. He was stuck on the carpet. No, because if the bed's on the door, they'd act, he'd actually be able to get out. Because it would... No. No. Infinity's nice. Yes, go back in. No. Stay there! Okay, let's give him some paper. Get some emeralds. We're out of paper. We're gonna go back and get more paper. We'll be back in a jiffy. I believe the proper sound you were looking for, Mel, was... Ah, the fresh. Do I get my tea from anywhere special? No, I... I just buy, um... Like when it comes to like, I, I assume you're meaning like hot, hot teas, like with boiling water. Um, tw uh, Twinings is my go-to brand. That's about it. Nothing too special, but. I like PG tips for black, but they're not even tips anymore, so it's like, what's the point? Tetley's is a fine brew as well. But I like Twinings because they do Lady Grey.
I've tried loose leaf before. Where did he go? There he is. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I am going to revoke your uh, chair privileges there. Okay, so he's leveled up, so I think he needs to go to sleep. Aha, now he's an apprentice. So now let's sell him some books. Okay. I'm going to do this the quick way. Then Padawan? Yeah, I think that's how the ranking works. Before you know it, he'll be on the Jedi Council. I was just worried he'd despawn, and it's like... But Emperor Palpatine put allowed me to be on the council. Ooh, that's a lot of paper there. more books to have. <laughs> if Senator Palpatine told you to jump off a bridge, would you? I don't know. It depends if he uses force powers on me, I guess. I mean, he is the Senate. Just four books, I get a, a, an infinity. It's not bad. Okay, so he's done trading that, which is unfortunate. Oh, he, just, he needs. Okay, so he's done restocking, basically. Feather falling. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, fi oh, four squid and sacks instead. Okay, interesting. Um, well, we got a lot of emeralds. Actually, I don't mind. Maybe I should get a feather falling. I don't have feather falling on my boots already, which is the thing I should like. I'm out of books. My kingdom for one more book. Hey, look, I found a book. have a fair amount of ink sacks elsewhere. I've sold your books back to you. 
You can't stop me. I mean, I can make more books pretty easily, fortunately, because of uh, all the leather I can get in my leather farm. Feather falling will go a long way. I was going to sneeze for a moment. But look at all this unprocessed leather I have. There's just so much of it. But I don't know what level I... How many levels there are. To get them up on, because I never re oh, remember on villager trading stuff. I think they removed... I feel like they removed being able to get mending books out of fishing. Because that's how I used to get them. Looks so good. I missed a spot. Uh, quick, Twitch chat. Close your eyes. You can open them again. Yeah, everything's fine. I I didn't miss a spot. It was an optical illusion. It's a miracle. Well, there are the St. Joseph stairs, the ones that build themselves, so. But I think that's going to be a good place to call it for the day. So. so, thanks so much for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. It's been good to be with you all today. I uh, hope everyone has a great rest of their day and prayers, of course, for those in Florida. Um, yeah, there's some in New Mexico. There's a, I, there's a couple places that have them. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, join us again tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. Going to be playing some Super Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. Uh, Friday, bonus stream, 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, more Minecraft because we like Minecraft a lot around here uh, but that'll be in creative mode building the landmark for the year two anniversary celebration because the my second anniversary of streaming is next week which is wild and amazing um, also when we hit 300 followers gonna do the bonus stream of getting over it with Bennett Foddy um, I was thinking what if I did a minute for every follower and then I was like no that's five hours that sounds painful. I don't think I can do that much Bennett body. Uh, but anyway. Um, and then next week, uh, normal schedule of Chrono Trigger on Monday, 
uh, Spiritfarer on Tuesday, Midweek Minecraft, and more Castlevania 4. And on th Friday, I'll be on Game of Favorites. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, and so thank you to everyone who's liked, followed, subscribed, given bits, cheered, subs um, gifted subs, all that good jazz. Um, checked out the YouTube, checked out the Discord. Uh, thank you so much for helping build up this community. And uh, why don't we see who's live that we can raid into? Oh, Map Pack is live. We're gonna. He's he's playing Sudoku, so we're gonna raid into him. Uh, raid call will be. Count your twos. I don't I don't want to do something rude like I think that two's in the wrong spot, but do something like uh, count your twos. Or just as always, the classic just father father raid. Uh, but otherwise, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Take care and God bless.